Hi, my name is Shabib Karjika. In this video, we are going to learn how Transact will help you in streamlining your business by solving the problems of inventory management, purchase and sales documentation, real-time reports and dashboard, and visibility on your business data. Talking about some key takeaways from the video, or at the end of the video, you will learn how easy it is to take decisions with less user dependency on the basis of your data with the help of business intelligence and reports module. You can ease out your communication with your clients by sharing the documents through WhatsApp and email. You can get rid of using Excel and spreadsheet for maintaining the master because here on Transact, you can save all your data at one place. And the main thing is you can change your stock automatically with the help of creating the documents in the system. Hello and welcome. This is a home page of Transact. From there, you can upload your company logo and other basic company details from here. If you see in the middle, there are like three different tabs, which are basic modules, premium features, and advanced features. Basic modules are the module which gets activated once you complete your onboarding journey in Transact. Then we have some value added features which are like premium features which gets activated once you start creating the documents in the system, once you start uploading your data which is like inventory masters, your company, your buyer supplier masters. So this feature will get activated for you. And there are some more advanced value added features which are in the premium or the paid plan of transact which gets activated once you take the paid plan of transact. Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to see how Transact generates the value to your business by giving out you a real-time data dashboard and reports. If you go in the business intelligence module, the data is represented here in the form of graphs and pie charts. On the top right corner, if you see, we have six different tabs to look your data from various departments. Let me explain you a sales order tab. Once the customer sends you the PO, you accept that and you create a sales order in the system. If you scroll down, you will see the trend of your sales from last six months here in this graph. You can check the different attributes of your sales in pie charts. You will get region wise pie chart, customer wise, product wise and the item category wise. If I scroll up, I would like to highlight these three cards present on the top of this sales order tab. These cards will help you in your goods dispatch planning to deliver the goods on time, which impacts on customer satisfaction. You can check on orders due today, which will show you the count and the value of goods that are going to be dispatched today. In the same way, you can check the orders which are due in next seven days and the orders which are already overdue. You can click on view details to look into the data in a detailed view, a report will get open in the next tab. You will see a report here with the required data. In the report, you can see all the specific data from the orders. Here we have some columns which is order quantity, dispatch quantity and the balance quantity which is here to deliver. You can simply click on download button here to download this data in Excel. In the same way, you can look into your data from sales invoices, purchases, quotations, accounts and the inventory. Then we have reports module from where you can generate the data in a very detailed manner. If I want to check all my invoices created in the system, I will simply click on this report sales invoice register item wise. You, will, you can see here, there are some creation filters which will help you in getting out any specific data. But for now, if I scroll down and click on this generate report button, it will show me all of my invoices that has been created in my profile. Talking about some key features in the report, you can search out in every column to check out any specific data for any invoice number, customer name. Then we have a sorting 
in every column you can multi sort this also the headers present in the report are in your control you can simply click on the headers or the columns which you want to see in this report that means you can mold the report as per your requirement and you can also download this data in excel with the help of this download button hello and welcome in this video we are going to learn how to update all your masters in your profile in transact this masters will help you in creating the documents very easily we'll start with the settings module where you need to update all your company details like your billing location your delivery location bank details payment terms and other basic details this is a one time setting which will help you to fetch the data in your documents then we have a next master which is buyers and suppliers module here we need to update all the details of our buyers and suppliers to add a new buyer or to add a new supplier you can click on this add company button present on the top right corner it will show you two options you can add a single company one by one in case if you have the data present in your excel you can use this option to upload all the data here in your buyers and suppliers module then we have the third master which is inventory master in the inventory you need to update the data of all your items present in your inventory here also you can add your item by clicking on this button on the top right corner actions if you click on this it will show you a list of options from where you can select add an item you have to fill some mandatory data and you can see the detail of the item this is the one way of adding the product case if you have the data present in your excel you can use this function upload items and you can create the data according to the template present here and then you can upload the file so that all your items will get update here into the inventory hello and welcome in this video we are going to see the important part that is how to create documents in transact and how it impacts your inventory to create any of your purchase and sales documentation we need to go to transaction module from the left hand panel here in the transaction module on the top right corner you can see there is a button of create document click on create document it will show you a list of options from where you can select purchase order order confirmation invoice and ad hoc invoice let's take an example of invoice if i click on invoice it will ask you to add or select the detail of your buyer you can add a new company from here or you can select the already added company here from your master for example here i am selecting balaji corporation as my buyer and once you click on the company name it automatically open up the invoice documentation format where most of the detail will get prefetched from the master you have to update some basic details click here to add your item you can simply search your product through item description or if you know the item id of your product you can also search your item through this item id i am taking an example of butterfly valve so i will just select butterfly valve here the rest of the detail of this item butterfly valve will get fetched here that is hsn code the tax percentage because i have already added this detail in my inventory master you can give the quantity here if you can just select the rate here and if you see automatically all the calculation will come here into this block before saving and sending this document to your buyer you can also preview your email which is going to your buyer if you see here there is an option of email preview click on email preview this is how the email will go to your buyer it looks like a professional email which also improve your representation of sending the document in case if you want to make any changes in the header of this email or any uh, or, or the footer of uh, this email you can also make the changes here into this option you can also change the subject line once you change all the things into this email template you can click on this okay button and finally you can click on send send to save this invoice 
once the invoice is saved you can also share this document to your buyer through whatsapp also if you click on view transaction here a new transaction timeline gets created that means for every new transaction for every purchase and sales transaction a new timeline gets created here in the system let me quickly show you how the purchase and sales transaction look like i have already created timeline here for the sales part if you see all of my documents which are created under this order confirmation are present here into this one timeline so in case if you want to have a look at the advance received against this order you can simply click on this advance receive voucher and it will show you that amount of advance which has been received against the order similarly if we go to the purchase transaction so this is how the purchase transaction looks like you have placed the purchase order then when the material is uh, come to you you have inverted the material then the grn is done and you have punched the invoice so you can completely have a visibility on your data for every and each transaction then coming back to the invoice which we have created now we can see how it impacts your inventory let me show you we have selected the product as a butterfly valve so if i go to the inventory module the stock of my butterfly valve was 95 kg if i refresh the page and check the stock of my butterfly valve the stock will get reduced by 10 kg as we have created the invoice for butterfly valve for 10 kg if you can see here the change in the butterfly valve the stock was 95 kg initially and it has been changed to 85 kg for now you can also check the history of this item by clicking on the item name and it will show you the inventory history of this item butterfly valve when and who has changed the product through which process it will show you in the inventory history you can simply click on this download button to download this data into an excel hello and welcome in this video we are going to see how to convert your raw material into finished good if you are using freemium version of transact for this we need to go into the inventory module from the left hand panel now for the consumption of any raw material or to reduce the stock of your raw material against some project work or against some work order we will do this by manual adjustment option for this you need to go into this actions button from here you will get a list of options from where you can select manual adjustment reduce stock once you click on manual adjustment reduce stock it will give you a module where you have to update the details of the item which you want to reduce from the inventory for example here i am taking as coconut shell as one of my raw material which i want to consume or i want to reduce from my stock against my project number 545 so i will simply select coconut shell the current quantity of coconut shell is 100 kg into my stock let's say if i want to consume it by 30 kg now the final quantity will remain with me in my stock will be 70 kg if you scroll on the right hand side you can also select the adjustment type as the production and you can put out the comment here against work order number 545 so that it will help you to read out this data in the report in any case if you want to check all of the raw materials which has been consumed in this work order number 545 you can easily get that data in the report section if you want to add more items in this consumption you can simply click on this add item and a similar row will get added here from where you can select the item or you can also bulk upload this with the help of this download with the help of this template you have to feed the data in template and you can bulk upload this file once you do all this activity you have to just simply click on this save button to update the stock in the inventory and if you go and check the stock of the coconut shell which was earlier it was 100 kg if i see the coconut shell stock it is showing me as a 70 kg in my stock that means that we have reduced the stock by 30 kg against my project number or work order number 545 in the same way if the finished good is ready of work order number 545 again you have to go to this actions button and you will add the finished good in your stock by using this option manual adjustment add stock 
so this is how you can convert all your raw material consumables into your finished good thank you for watching my video in case if you have any feedback suggestions or any query you can contact me on my personal email id at shabib at the rate redsunzag.com